guys, we're out here at Kilcare, a little track about an hour and a half from the house. Kind of on the way to Brown County. We weren't able to test yesterday like we had hoped. They canceled due to air quality, which is kind of funny, but being a racetrack, air quality doesn't really make sense. They said that everybody was better to stay inside and put their masks on and not go outside and smell burnout smoke and race fuel and things like that. So we're here at Kill Care, an American track. We're gonna test today. We're gonna hopefully go really fast. So you, you've made bar changes and this is the first time, I mean, we've tested on the street, but on a track you can see, hopefully if it's gonna go dead straight. Brown County is pretty fast. It's one of the faster no preps we go to. I mean, they go 480s, 490s there uh, pretty routinely. So I'm gonna try and nail down a 480 tune up today, 490 tune up on a good track and just see how the suspension's gonna work. Uh, this track is obviously a little bit stickier, it's prepped, but Brown County gets pretty good on the starting line as well. So I think we'll be able to get a good baseline on this suspension. I, I took a lot of Anna squat out of it and the car is actually gonna kind of stay neutral, if not squat just a little bit when it leaves. So it's gonna put less pressure on the tire and it's gonna have more leverage down track. So I'm hoping that it's a little bit more stable down track and I'm hoping it goes straight. So we'll see. Watch this shock and spring. It's like so. I'm kind of thinking the anti-roll bar is bent, and that would explain why one length is a little bit longer than the other. Like there's more rod end showing on both sides on the right side than there is the left. The left is adjusted all the way in to get it neutral. And the right side has like this much showing on both sides. Usually when they build an anti-roll bar, they build it so it's completely level and the lengths are of the same length so I'm thinking that maybe the anti-roll bar is bent or could have another problem it's applying a lot of pressure to the tire see that yeah if you watch the frame on this side it dips down and this side it's kind of neutral and when you let off you can see it twist back doing the G-body shuffle. You can see it, especially if you watch these two shocks, how it's twisting. If you watch the shocks. Mm -hmm. It's bad. You can see it's really squashing that right spring. In the left spring, it's like... Oh, you can see it. It's terrible. Especially when you let off, you can see. Oh God, you can see that real good. It's twisting. The only thing that could be, in my opinion, is the anti-roll. The 
is terrible. I mean, that's what keeps the rear end level with the chassis. Yeah. And we're not hitting it that hard to twist the chassis. So we figured out that the anti-roll bar in this car is definitely bent. I think it was bent a little bit before, but after war in the woods, it seems to be a lot worse. Um, ever since I tried to roll it and spin it out, um, it seems like it's bent a lot more. So the only way to, uh, when you adjust it, basically when it's neutral, when both bolts go through the top easily, the arms are at different heights. One is a half inch higher than the other. So it, it allows the car basically to twist like the bars are. So if the, if, the, if the rod ends on the end of the bar are like this, it's gonna allow the car to twist just like that. Um, so we're gonna have to get a new anti-roll bar in there, fix the one we got, do something. So we'll see. How did it get bent? It's old and lots of passes. Probably got worse when. Oh my god, look how bad it is. Probably got worse at War in the Woods when it was rolled to the right side. Oh, wow, I was, that's half an inch difference. It's, it is. Size. It's probably worse at War in the Woods, you know, when it was sliding to the right and on two wheels. Probably all the way on that side. So it's twisted. Yeah, it's yeah, gotta be it's twisted in the center. So that's gonna make it difficult to cut and draw the piece back around it because it's oblong. I think that's what you're gonna find if it is twisted. <clears throat> See what slides over it. Well, I mean, if we can cut it out here and cut it out here and get the twisted part out of the center, because you can see it right there, where it twisted right there. It's skinny. Yeah. So you'll have to cut that section out. Cut that out and then we can slide. We have chrome molly at the other shop that we can put over top of it and roll it back together. I'll bet you that that bent when you spun it around, because this car hasn't been right since it got spun around. Yeah. I think it was slightly bent before, but it got way worse. But now that you're setting that four link up to let it squat rather than plant the tire, now everything is on the anti-roll bar to hold it level. You see what I mean? Before, when it's planting a tire, it's not nearly, like my Nova, it's never had an anti-roll bar and it never twists, but it's it plants, spring but it's loose body. Yeah. But like this, I mean, it has to have a good anti-roll bar, especially if you're trying to- it's critical on a four link. Well, especially if you're neutral or, you know, you're- I know what it, I know what it said. It said 108 anti squat, but it's gotta be less because it squatted hard. It did? It squatted an inch and a half. It picked the nose up. Like instantly, like. Could you? I, I like the way it looked in the video. Could you read it on the what the shock sensor? How much did it squat? I can see it in the video. It squatted probably an inch and a half, two inches. Just I think you're onto something. It's just we've it, got to get. You this. could see the tires they get fucking they bulge out, but like at the hit, they're not wrinkled or anything. But half you know half a rotation in, they're just. Smash. I think you're on to something. The more, we get the more compression straight. I put on these shocks, the harder it'll hook. It's Doing just that. a different way of tuning that we have never done you before. Can't, you can't leave on a fuck ton of boost, like at the hit or RPM, but like a few feet out, you just throw it in. On the, what you call it? You can see where it's twisted oh right there in the center. It's got it. You, Bent. It's egg shaped and bent. Yeah. I mean, I can see it from here. This, this isn't the most flat. It's arched. You can see all the space under it. It's about half an inch. So, what do we need to fix this? Uh, we gotta go to the other shop. We should have some inch and five eighths. Um, Carbon all the way over there. It's the only spot that it's welded to this. These arms are on, on this side. So you can just cut just that cut off and half, put a new one in it. Put a bigger. I can cut it in half. Cut a little bit out of it. Put it back together, but with a bigger piece on the outside. Yeah. Just slide it over it and weld it back to these arms. Is that inch and a half? It looks like it. Measure it. It's 
not engine 5 base, that's for sure. No. It's engine, it's one five on it. So, I guess I'll take it to my shop and take it. in there I'm sure probably it's got a lot of penetration it's, it's flat fine. it's even So the track this time was scraped really good. Um, it was pretty much bare concrete for the first 80 feet, 60, 80 feet. And um, I'd never seen it that bare before. But it also took rubber really fast. Um, I think by fifth pair when I went, there was a pretty good amount of rubber there. Not a lot, but I mean, it was a lot better than when we first started. And I could tell it was gonna be fast. Uh, even when it's hot there, the track stays good because there's so much shade on the track and the track temp never gets real high. So it never gets greasy. It always stays tight and um, the rubber is, is really good there. So it turned out to be, you know, another fast race. makes a gear change if it's stuck feel it but if it feels stuck okay we'll see what it does i haven't taken it past 100 feet yet with this suspension i think it's gonna go well but good luck buddy thanks man
excited to get on the track and see what it was going to do after testing the night before. It went really straight on the on the test spot, but we also weren't leaving very hard, so it was going to be interesting to see what it did on a good surface. I got paired up with Jake Boswell. Unfortunately, he had an issue with his car and broke and couldn't make the round. I gave him my two minutes, so he had four minutes to make it up there, his two minutes and my two minutes, and uh, he couldn't make it, so I made a single pass. It left. It felt straight for the most part. Uh, went over the first transition. Had just a little bit of wheel speed, but not much at all. I uh, shifted it pretty early, shifted it like 6,500. Um, and then the boost started really rolling in and I could feel the car just grabbing harder than it's ever grabbed before up top. Uh, I was really impressed with the way it did down track and I felt like it could take about whatever out the back after feeling what I felt. Suspension changes made a world of difference down track. It felt like it was just digging so hard out the back. I How was really lucky impressed. that you got a single on the first round. It went straight. I'm so thankful that you got a test pass. Yeah, I mean, we've been struggling and we're starting to see some daylight. You know, we don't have a lot of testing still in the car. First pass on that suspension setup, so we didn't know what it was going to do. But I think there's potential there.
with Zach Sherman. Uh, he's a pretty hardcore racer out of Indiana, I believe. He just switched to a big block turbo combination from Nitrous. The car left and it went left and it had the left front wheel off the ground. It was twisted up. And I think honestly the anti-roll bar fix that I did the night before, it worked, but it's still gonna twist because that anti-roll bar is so small. It's only like an inch and a quarter diameter, maybe a little bit less. So, and a roll bar really needs to be upgraded in it, I think, and that'll help a lot. It went left, I had to get out of it, and then it was pretty much over at that point. So, he also treed me. Um, so, congrats to him, he made a really good pass, and uh, I'll just have to show up better next time. I, I really wanted to test a lot more the week before, but it just wasn't in the cards, so. Hopefully we'll be able to get a new anti-roll bar in the car and test it quite a bit more before we go out to the next race. He made a really good pass and I felt mine move around just a little bit and I pedaled it once. I just don't have enough passes on the car. I'm yeah. not confident enough yet to stay in it through yeah. something like that. Yeah. If it was in the truck, I'd maybe drive through something like that, but I just don't know what this thing's going to do yet. And I've had this thing spun around two or three right. times. Right. A little timid. Yeah, I mean, he was out on me at 60 feet pretty good. I probably should have 60 a lot harder, but I really don't know where I'm at with this thing. Like, right. I, I, I just, I don't know where I'm at with the car yet. Like, what boost equals what, what 60 foot, and especially with this new suspension. So, I'm just testing at the biggest race in the country, basically.
Okay, so Lindy's going to have to get eyes down there at the finish line, and we're going to have to make the crowd a winner. Yeah. Right what did I say? What did I say? Tommy was ahead of him at 60 foot. And Pontiac started reeling him in. I'm not bad. It looks I, good I, I to me. I, well, me and, me and Billy were the damn it calling him anyway, so I'm not even going to say. Well, he, he nudged me right at the end, just the last 5, 10 feet, he got around me. And I had my finger on the button, and I didn't think I needed it. My and car, I, I mean, I don't know, man. It just—it was an awesome race. Yeah. He got around me just in the last five, ten feet. Yeah. You did it, fellas. I love what y'all do. Thanks, Thanks, man. What did it go? Twenty-nine. Like, did he just drive around you? Or? In the last five feet. Barely, like, I think he said. Did you touch the button at all? Or no? No, I didn't even know he was near me. I, I was hovering on it, and I was like, I don't think I'm going to need it.
we uh, we didn't do so hot that race. Tommy got down to I think 11 cars, which was not bad, you know, considering it was the 50 baddest in the country, invite only. You know, the Falcon, we've got plans for it. And I had plans to put this 388, another car that I haven't even released yet. It's a secret. But after losing the last few weekends out by a bumper or a fender, all due to just lack of horsepower at the finish line, I've made the decision that we're gonna put the 388 in the Falcon at some point this season it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be really fast. The 388 is capable of 2,000 horsepower. It's gonna get bigger turbos. We're gonna use the same injectors for now because they've still got some, some room left. They're only at about 60% duty cycle right now at 35 pounds of boost. So I think we can stretch them out a little longer and maybe upgrade those in the future. But for now, we're gonna stick with our 16 injector setup. I got an intake coming for the 388. We're gonna put it in the car and most everything should swap right over. I'm gonna to have to make a new turbo kit, of course. It's gonna be badass, and the Falcon, if, if there's any car in our fleet that deserves some upgrades, it's definitely the Falcon, because it is literally the same as the way we bought it two, three years ago. And it's won a lot of races, but times are changing, cars are evolving, everybody's getting faster, and if you stay stagnant, you're gonna get past. So that's what we're gonna do. I uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, if you want to come out and watch us next weekend, we're going to be at KD Dragway for King of the Hill. Limpy's there flagging. Happy's going to be there. It's going to be a great time. I won the race last year, so I'm looking to defend my title, and I'm taking the old faithful. So we're working on the truck this week, trying to get it ready. We found a lot of issues that plagued us this last time we had the engine together, and I think this time it's going to be much faster. We had an injector that wasn't firing. We had spark plug wires that were faulty. A couple of them were faulty. We had you know, some, some cylinder head issues that we've since gotten fixed. I think all in all, once this thing is lined out, it's gonna be pretty fast. Builds boost in literally like one and a half seconds now, rather than you know the eight, eight years that it took the last video we made with this thing. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. We'll see you there. Every trip, we got a wildlife adventure. Oh no! He's good. Is that a snapping turtle? No, it's paint. Ah! Oh no! He's on his lid. That's a nice little fox turtle. Oh, he's pissing. Yeah. Whoa, he's cool. He's that's, red and yellow. That's like the one we found that we released at your dad's. Yep. On your way. Uh, put him uh, through the fence. I don't know. Well, man. well, he could just he can't build that one. He can't put him back over there. That was a long trick. He's just trying to get in his wet shit over there. Yeah, just getting wet shit, but he did. Get him up and next to the pond. Oh, Look at him. He's hill climbing. Damn. I He's read something him. somewhere that you're not supposed to relocate him very far because they uh, always try to get home. And if they can't figure out how to get home, they basically die a lonely, depressing life. He's got four-wheel drive. He does, too. Donatello. Yeah. Just gonna hang on. All right. right. That's enough of that. I mean, I, 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 I feel like What's going on in here? Obviously, you don't want your money hanging out, but as long as it's all the way in there, you're good. 
It's a deck of cards and just show it like this. Just uh, tell me to stop. Stop. Right there. Go ahead and take a look at it somewhere. Yeah. Show it to everybody. Mm -hmm. well, let me see. All right. And put it back. Okay, so I'll just uh, mix it up a bit and I'm going to make five. Let's do five piles. What to the pile you think your card might be in? You want to keep it there or change your mind? It's up to you. Just keep it there. It'd be weird if that was your card. Yeah. That's your card. What? 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 It's what? Like, it's what? harder to watch. <laughs> here it is. We're going to mix it back up in the deck. And it's obviously somewhere in here. Um, let's make sure it's not on the top. Obviously, it shouldn't be. That's not it. Six of hearts. It's close, but it's not it. Uh, push the little button. There's a little button in the middle. Just push it. No. Like that. And it just melts up to the top ah, of the deck. Ah. What? <laughs> the? It gets weirder too. If you take this card like this and you wave the deck like this, every single card turns into your card. No. What? No oh my goodness. But if you wave it again like this, it'll go right back to a regular deck. Okay, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Should have put an LS in it. Fuck you, Billy. Now I said it. Fuck you, Billy. Now I said it. Fuck you, Billy. Get away from me.